Hi everyone! Today I just wanted to review the different notes we've learned so far on the recorder. The first note that we learned was the note B. And B is on the middle line of the musical staff, the third line. To play it correctly, you put your left pointer covering the first hole on the top and your left thumb covering the back hole. Note A is the second note that we learned. It is on the second space on the musical staff, just one step below B. To play this note, you use your left pointer and middle finger covering the first two holes on the front and your left thumb still covering the hole on the back. The third note that we learned was the note G. G is the lowest of the five notes that we've learned so far. G is on the second line of the musical staff. To play G, your left pointer covers the first hole, your left second finger, middle finger, covers the second hole, and your left ring finger covers the third hole. The thumb is still covering the hole on the back. Note C is the fourth note that we've learned. This time you're going higher than the notes that we've already learned. C is on the third space of the musical staff. This one's a little different to play with your hands. Remember, your second finger, the middle finger, is covering on the front of the recorder. Your pointer's not. See how that one is left empty? but your thumb is still covering the back hole. D is the highest note that we've learned so far. Out of all of the five that we know, this one is the highest. It's on the fourth line of the musical staff. And this one only uses one finger to cover to play to the instrument correctly. Second finger middle finger is covering the second hole on the front with your left hand and that's the only note that's covering. Your thumb is not covering on the back, your pointer is not covering on the front, your ring finger is not covering on the front. Just that one hole is covered. Your right hand, remember, you're going to want to have that down here by the bell helping to balance the instrument out because the top of it with only one finger on it that's not going to be enough to help you balance. The last thing I want to go over with you is our note value chart. Remember, each one of the different types of notes has an opposite type of rest that's held for the same amount of time. Instead of it being held with sound, however, it is with silence. Starting at the top, we have the whole note. Whole note takes up four beats of sound all on its own. It fills up the whole measure. After that, the half notes. Half notes are two beats of sound. They take up half of the measure all on their own. Next is quarter note. Quarter note is one beat of sound. You would need four of these to fill up one measure. And lastly, eighth notes. Usually we see them in a pair because each one is half of a beat. So a half plus a half makes a whole. It makes sense to see them in a pair. Two eighth notes equal one beat. So you would need four pairs of eighth notes to fill up a measure. Or eight eighth notes all on their own. Good luck with this. Keep these in mind when you take the quiz.